Good morning and welcome. I am reading from Genesis chapter 34 onwards. And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And Shechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her. He took her and lay with her and defiled her. And he saw Saul clave unto Dinah, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel and spake kindly unto the damsel. And Shechem, spoke unto his father Hamor, saying, Get this damsel for me to wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dinah, his daughter. Now his sons were with the cattle in the field, and Jacob held his peace until they were come. And Hamor, the father of Shechem, went out unto Jacob to commune with him. The sons of Jacob came out of the land, and when they heard it, and the men were grieved. And they were very wroth, because he had wrought folly in Israel, in lying with Jacob's daughter, which thing ought not to be done. And Hamor communed with son, saying, The son of my soul, Shechem, longeth for your daughter. I pray you to give him a her to wife, and make him marriages with us, and give your daughters unto us, and take our daughters unto you, and he shall dwell with us, and the land shall go before you. Dwell and trade they, therein, and get possessions therein. And Shechem said unto her father and unto her brethren, Let me find grace in your eyes, and what shall he say unto me, I will give. Never me, ask me, never so much dowry and gift, and I will give according as he say unto me, but give me the damsel to wife. And the sons of Jacob answered, Shem, Shechem and Ham deceitfully and said, Because he had defiled Dina his sister, they said unto him, We cannot do this thing, but to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised, for that were a reproach unto us, but in this we will consent you, if you will be as we, be that every male of you be circumcised, then we will give our daughters unto you, and will take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people, and if you hearken not unto us to be circumcised, then we will take our daughter, and we will be gone. And the words pleased Hamor, and Shechem Hamor's son, and the young man deferred not to do the thing because he had delight in Jacob's daughter. And he was more honorable than all the house of his father. And Hamor and Shechem his son came unto the gate of their city, and come in with the men of the city, saying, These people, men, are peaceable with us. Therefore let them dwell in our land, and trade therein for the land. Behold, it is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us for wives, and let us give them their da our daughters. Only hearing will the men consent for us to dwell among us, to be one people, if every man among us to be circumcised, as they are circumcised. Not Shall not their cattle and their substance and every beast of theirs be ours? Only let us consent unto them, and they will dwell with us. And unto Hamor and unto Shechem his son hearkened, all that went out of the gate of the city, and every male was circumcised, all that went out of the gate of his city. And it came to pass on the third day, when they were sore, the two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brother, took each man his sword, and came upon the city boldly, and slew all the males. And they slew Hamor and Shechem's son with the edge of the sword, and took Dinah out of Shechem's house, and went out. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain, and spoiled the city, because they had defiled the, defiled the sister. They took their sheep, and their oxen, and their asses, and their And that which was in the city, and that which was in the field, and all their wealth, and all their wants, and their wives they took captive and spoiled, even all that was in the house. And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, Ye have troubled me to make me to stink among the inhabitants uh, of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites, and I being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me. And I shall be destroyed, I and my house. And they said, Should he deal with our sister as with the harlot? Chapter 35 And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an altar unto God that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household, and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments, and let us arise and go to Bethel, 
and I will make thee there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in the land, and all their earrings which were in their ears. And Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. And they journeyed, and the terror of God was upon the cities that were round about them, and they did not pursue the sons of Jacob. So Jacob came to Luz, which was in the land of Canaan, that is Bethel, and all the people that were with him. And he built an altar and called the place El Bethel, because there God appeared unto him when he fled from the face of his brother Laban, and his brother. And Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, died, and she was buried beneath Bethel under an oak, and the name of it was called Alon Bakuth. And God appeared unto Jacob again, when he came out of Padanaram and blessed him. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob, thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, because Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. And kings shall come out of thy loins. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac to thee will I give it. And to thy seed after thee will I give the land. And God, of, God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. And Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he talked with him, a pillar of stone, and he poured a drink offering upon, and to be poured, and he poured oil thereon. And Jacob called the name of the place where God spake with him, Bethel. And they journeyed from Bethel, and there was but a little way to come to Ephrath, where Rachel travelled, and she had uh, hard labour. And it came to pass, when she was in hard labour, the midwife said unto her, Fear not, thou shalt say, have this son also. It came to pass, as her soul was in departing, for she died, that she called his son name Benoni, or, but his father called him Benj Benjamin. And Rachel died and was buried in the way to Ephrath, which is Bethlehem. And Jacob set a pillar upon her grave, that is a pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day. And Rachel Israel journeyed and spread his tent beyond the tower of Eda. And it came to pass when Israel dwelt in the land, Reuben went and lay with Billa, his father's concubine, and Israel heard it, now heard it, and now the sons of Jacob were twelve, and sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon and Levi, and Judah and Ishakar and Zebulun. The sons of Rachel, Joseph and Benjamin. The sons of Bela, Rachel's handmaid, Dan and Naphtali. And the sons of Silpa, Leah's handmaid, Gad and Ashab. Ashab. These are the sons of Jacob which were born to him in Padanaram. And Jacob came unto Isaac, his father unto Mamre, unto the city of Arba, which is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac sojourned. And the days of Isaac were hundred and four score years. And Isaac gave up ghost and died, and was gathered unto his people, being all full of ease days. And his sons Esau and Jacob buried him.